Joining me now is Kristen Welker from NBC's Meet the Press. Kristen, good morning. Good to have you with us. The debate between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris is less than a week and a half away. What are the candidates looking to do in this first debate as the election gets closer? Well, this is the big face off between these two candidates. The stakes could not be higher. If you look at the polls, this race is incredibly competitive. And so what they are trying to do from now through the debate is to clearly define where they stand on the issues. We saw Kamala Harris try to do that in her first interview. She was pressed on some of those policy reversals she's had on issues from fracking to Medicare for all to the border. She said that her policy positions may have changed, but her values haven't changed. For for his part, former President Trump is trying to deal with one of his biggest vulnerabilities, which is the issue of abortion and reproductive rights. He struggled with that this week, initially signaling that he uh, opposes a six-week ban in place in Florida, then swapping to make it very clear just the very next day that he supports it. So it's just a challenging issue for him. He even has proposed that if he were elected, the federal government would pay for IVF services. A lot of question marks about how that would happen. Consider this in 2022. Americans spent $8 billion on IVF. So that's a huge price tag. Who would pay for that? Taxpayers? So a lot of questions remain unanswered. We'll break it down with all of our guests this morning. I do think that the issue of abortion is extremely important. Both the former president, as you said, touched on it, and the vice president, Kamala Harris, talked about abortion throughout the week as well. How do you think the recent developments on the abortion issue will impact the race in states like Georgia that do have a six-week abortion ban? I think it's going to be critical. States, particularly 10 different states all across the country that have amendments uh, on the ballot where abortion is literally on the ballot. That will help to drive out turnout in some of those critical states. So we have seen in the midterms and special elections that abortion has been a driver. This is the first presidential election since Roe was overturned. Remember, former President Trump has proudly talked about the fact that he was able to overturn Roe v. Wade, something that a majority of Americans and the vast majority of women oppose. So his challenge, I think, is to try to win back some of those voters, those suburban uh, women, moderates, independents, who will really determine the outcome of this race. Angelina. Thank you so much, Kristen. Meet the Press airs at 10 or right after 11 Alive weekend morning news. And don't forget that the Georgia Vote is your trusted source for a comprehensive look at the issues important to you and your family this election year. Join Faith Jesse and Zach Merchant at 11 a.m. right after Meet the Press. The Georgia Vote is also streaming on 11 Alive Plus.